Hi, I'm Matt with Gremlin Wiring. Today I'm going to show you how to utilize everything you'll need in the Builder's Box wiring kit to wire up this 1980 shovel head. This is my personal bike. It's a 1980s motor and a Paco frame with points ignition and is kick only. It'll be wired very simple with only ignition system, charging system, headlight with an on-off switch, and a tail light with a brake switch. The first thing you'll need to do is figure out where you're mounting everything so you can cut your wires to length. To save time, I've already mounted the key switch off the kicker cover with one of the mounts provided and the circuit breakers and Hawthorne breaker mounts to the rear fender where they'll be close to the battery. To keep it as simple as possible, I'm gonna go by each electrical system and show you how to follow along with the wiring diagram provided. I'll start with the charging system. The first wire you'll run is the voltage regulator wire. This wire will run to one side of the first circuit breaker. The next wire you'll run is the red power wire for the key switch. This will run from the circuit breaker on the same terminal as the voltage regulator wire to the B terminal on the rear of the key switch. The other terminal of this circuit breaker will go to the positive terminal on the battery, but this will be one of the final steps when we install the battery. Next, you'll run the wires for the ignition system. This bike has points ignition, so there's only one wire running from the points to the coil. If you're running an aftermarket electronic ignition, the wires will differ in coil placement based on the ignition that you're running. You'll start by feeding your wire into the base of the cone and leaving just a little slack. Next, you'll run the other end to the bottom terminal on the coil. For this wire, you'll need to feed it into the cone before crimping and soldering the spade terminal in place. Once it's in place, you'll put this and the condenser wire on the points and tighten them down. Same for the ring terminal on the coil side. Next, you'll run the white power wire for the coil. This will go from the A terminal on the key switch to the top terminal on the coil. Now that the ignition system is wired in, you'll run the wires for the lights. You'll start with a blue power wire that runs from the A terminal on the key switch to one side of the second circuit breaker. Also, to save on room, each kit comes with five of these flag style ring terminals that will help keep these wires running to the circuit breakers as tight as possible because you don't want a bunch of slack wire flopping around under your seat. Before I run the wires for the headlight and the tail light, I just wanna to touch on why there's a second circuit breaker as opposed to running them off the accessory terminal on the key switch. So if you ever run your bike a long distance, you've probably had an electrical problem with either the headlight or the tail light. Uh, either a loose connection or a ground can cause this where the bike will start cutting out or sputtering or if the bike even cranks at all. With the addition of the second circuit breaker, it'll kill power to both of the lights, but the bike will still be running so you can get to your destination. That way you don't have to figure out what the problem is while you're on the side of the road. The headlight wire will go from the second terminal on the accessory circuit breaker to the headlight. If you're running direct power to the headlight, then you can splice this wire to the headlight power wire, or you can use the quick disconnects that are provided in the kit. Another option is you can use the toggle switch provided in the kit as an on off switch by running the power wire from the circuit breaker to the middle terminal and the power wire from the headlight to the terminals on either side. It doesn't matter which side. This way you can turn the switch off or on. Another option, if you're running a high beam, low beam, you can run the high beam or low beam to either side of the switch, doesn't matter which side, and the power wire from the circuit breaker to the center terminal. That way you can switch from high beam, off, low beam. You'll run the orange tail light power wire from the accessory circuit breaker down to the brake switch. I'm running a banjo style brake switch. So you're gonna set that up on the banjo bolt and then you're gonna run the brake light wire, which is this red wire. You're gonna splice it to one side of the brake switch. And then you're gonna take the orange wire coming off the accessory circuit breaker, pair it with the running light wire, which is this green wire, and put it on the other side of the brake switch. It doesn't matter which side because it's non-directional. Just make sure it's got a good connection on both sides. Now that all your wires are in, you'll put your wires on your key switch. The red wire will go to the B terminal and your blue and white wire will go to the A terminal. Before we install the battery, go around the bike and zip tie all the wires so they're not gonna get around anything hot or anything that could expose them. Now you'll run your main power wire from the charging circuit breaker to the positive terminal on the battery. Make sure you have a good ground with no paint or powder coat and run that to the negative terminal on the battery.